Hello everybody, this is Scott Beth, your host with Agent Mastermind. Thanks so much for joining us today. We have an amazing class planned for you. I am on here with my partner in crime, Vicki Rice. How are you doing, Vicki? I'm doing good. Doing Excellent. Good. So can everybody hear us okay and see us okay? We got one no sound, but I hear Vicki fine. Um, yes, okay, cool. All right, thank you so much. All right, so... We're going to talk about one of the, I don't know, one of my favorites because I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm big into pictures, and that's pretty much what, and you know what, you can take the pretty much out of that, that's what Pinterest is. That's why it's so popular and so big. I'm going to show you some stats right here in just a minute that I think will blow your mind, but um, let's, just, let, let, let's just get started. So, you know, Vicki found this picture, and Vicki, you want to explain this picture to us, or kind of what you thought when you seen this? Yeah, you know, I just thought, you know, it's like a piece of, of the pie, you know, the money pie. Um, and so I thought that was kind of a cool little image to, Absolutely. you know, get you that flavor. So, my, <laughs> so your piece is the one that's cut out and mine's the other one? Is that how that works? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Your story. I, I, you know, I like, yeah, I like the, the bigger piece. So, uh, of course, it shows too as well. So, all right, here we go. So today's agenda, why you should use Pinterest, what is Pinterest, who is on Pinterest, knowing Pinterest vocabulary, how to, how to get started, multiple pages, how to pin, pin ideas, good practices, and board ideas, all right? And we got all kinds of stuff to share with you. I, I kind of just sit back and relax and kind of get the mindset of this. And then I think as time goes through, like time goes on, you'll just get an idea of why this is so powerful and how to use it in your real estate business to just kind of get followers and have followers kind of pay attention to you. But I'm going to go back to the old social media thing that we've been really preaching is, you know, you can sell on this, but be, you know, be careful that you, you do it in a really cool way and it's not all selling, okay? We're going to show you some ideas of some of our past uh, um, coaches that have been on this class that are using Pinterest in a really cool way. So we're going to share, share that with you here in just a minute. So get this. So right. I just found this the other day. Mind, blogging, or excuse, mind boggling facts. Pinterest grabs 41% of e-commerce traffic. Compare that to Facebook of 37%. Guys, Pinterest is gaining a little bit, or if not doing bigger things than Facebook is in certain categories. Okay? So, yeah, and, and to, hey, Scott, to, to um, add to that, Forty-seven percent of people who shop online have made that make a purchase. It's based on Pinterest's recommendations, so that's pretty cool. So, forty-one percent of people that make a decision online base it on Pinterest. Base it on the on the recommendations they've seen something on Pinterest. Okay, that's crazy, and I'm going to show you why this is so powerful. Um, when you're shopping for stuff, more than likely, if you search Google, you're going to find something on Pinterest. It's pretty crazy. So, more active registers users than Reddit. Average pen is more than more relevant than average tweet, which is pretty cool. Pinterest rules the iPad. So Facebook may still dominate the iPhone, but according to studies by the share, this Pinterest is the top channel for iPad users, okay? With almost 50% of the share, all social media activity on the tablet. So tablets is growing. Guys, we're going away from the computers into phones and tablets. People are carrying these things around 24-7. I don't know if you've been to a restaurant or just out in a family gathering. Everybody's carrying their tablets. And if there's a question about anything, anywhere, anytime, any place, you can get it instant information, and that's why they're that's why they, this thing is growing so big. So um, just be thinking about that when you move forward in your business. Are you doing something? We're going to have a class up coming up on um, mobile business cards and stuff like that. So just be thinking about that. How mobile is growing so huge and so fast that you need to be going that direction. If you're not, if you don't have a mobile way to people to stay in contact with you or be able to download your business card on their phone, um, you're going to have a hard time competing because other people are doing that now. So just be thinking about that as we go on, okay? So why Pinterest? Get this, Vicki. 70 million users. Last time we did this, I think there was 19 million users. And it wasn't, it was like about less than a I year know. ago. Isn't that crazy? I know. Here's That's the crazy. big one. Here's the big, big, how much, like, okay, here's the, for all you women on the class, when buying a home, who is the decision maker? And all you guys can sit here and lie to me all you want, but who's the decision maker? Dun, da, da. Hey, I just found out. I just found out today that eighty-one percent of all women in the United States trust Pinterest as a source of information and advice. 
Okay, so 81% of users on Pinterest are women. Okay, percentage of Pinterest unique visitors that are mobile, 35%. Okay, this is these are these are current dates I just found as of today. Percentage of U.S. internet using women that are on Pinterest, 20%. So that's 20% of the 80%, 20% of the 70 million are in the United States are women. Percentage of U.S. internet using men that are on are 5%. So very little of the men are using it. So let's just keep going. Number of Pinterest business accounts. We're gonna we're not gonna talk about business accounts today, and I'll give you a couple reasons why we're not gonna talk about that today. We we'll, we'll touch on it next week. Um, I think it needs to be more of a relationship based thing. I don't I don't I don't I'm not a hundred percent. I agree, hundred percent. I'm yeah. not sold on business you know. period. So business pages, business this, exactly. business that. It it boils down to how many people know, like, and trust you. And I know I beat on that like really really hard. But guys, it's about relationships. It's not about getting more clients. It's about keeping the ones you currently have and reminding them of who you are and what you do for a living, okay? Percentage of total Pinterest pins are repins. Get this. Percentage of total Pinterest pins are repins, 80%. Crazy. So what's yeah, whereas, going on? Yeah. As a Facebook, you know, we like something, comment on it, and share yeah. it. You know, Pinterest, we, it's more of a repin than a like. Excellent. So percentage of Pinterest images that contain faces, less than 20%. I'm not really sure what, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what that means. Faces of people, I don't, I don't get it. So average number of yeah, daily articles. images. Pins. Okay, images, okay. Images people. So average number of daily article pins are 5 million. So article pins, so like they're taking an article and pinning it, and we're going to show you how crazy easy it is to do that, and then have the pin, like in, we're going to show you a really cool way to go from Pinterest to Facebook to Twitter all with one little right. really quick tweet or with a little quick pin, it's pretty cool. Pinterest growth uh, in web traffic referrals. Here's where the whole thing just blows up for me. Pinterest growth in web traffic referrals from 9.12 to 9.13, 66.52%. All right, that's this month that that was updated. Crazy stuff, right? A lot of referrals, I bet you there's a lot of people in this class can, that can attribute Pinterest to to a lot of business, all right? So what is Pinterest? I don't know if you guys, I, you know, I was looking at one last night. I always, I always check this out because somebody was walking by a pinup board just like this and said, man, wouldn't it be cool if we could put this online? So they did. They call it Pinterest, all right? So check this out and think about what you see on Pinterest boards in real life, which is just all sales, sales, sales. Now they're bringing it into the social media world, and now it's about what you like, what maybe colors you like, what maybe kitchen countertops, maybe lighting, maybe, I mean, all kinds of, you, you can get really, really, really cool with this stuff. So start thinking about how you can use this incorporated into your business when you're looking at homes every single day, when you're sharing homes, when you're, I mean, you can really build some really cool stuff. Uh, trees in the neighborhood, areas in the neighborhood, roads in the neighborhood, all kinds of stuff you can share with this. So Home Expo, I mean, talk about building a really cool Pinterest board on just the local Home Expo coming up in the spring. Just a great way to do that, all right? So some top companies that are on Pinterest. Parenting, Travel Channel, Today Show, e, uh, Etsy. I don't, you know, I can't figure out Etsy. I'm trying to buy stuff. I mean, sometimes you can buy stuff on there, sometimes you can't, but it's a really cool site, but there's, they have an amazing Pinterest board, um, boards, I should say, just a really cool, so check that out, and then the U.S. Army, of course, so there's, we could go on for days on how many people are on Pinterest, but, so, Vicki, what do you got here? You, you look these up, so David? <laughs> you know, I guess, I, when I start, um, you know, doing the profiles for Pinterest for our um, LOs and agents and stuff, yeah. I, I want them to think of Pinterest um, really as a resource, so you want your clients your customers that already know, like, and trust you to follow you on Pinterest. And you want them to keep coming back to you. So every single board that you do should be something that's going to, you know, be a value to them. Um, now, David is a, is a HGTV, you know, he's great. You can find some awesome ideas to pen on um, a board that might be, um, you know, tips that um, 2014 paint colors, the top there colors. You know. People okay. are going to keep coming back to your paint color board before they go and paint their house because they want to know what's current, what's hot, you know. And David, you know, brings a lot of that um, stuff to the to the table. So exactly. that's why I kind of chose him. 
Real simple. Um, you know, you this can, is a good one. Yeah, you can get ideas like just from magazines. These are great magazines. Like, um, you know, spring cleaning. Um, you know, new uses for old things. So create your board to like what you. The new way of marketing is answering the questions that are in your target market's minds, right? So do a board for every question that you think is in your buyer and seller's minds. I mean, think about all the things that come with a home. All the stuff, all the colors, all the decorations, all the shapes, sizes, roofs. I mean, you could build. I mean, uh, we're gonna look at a. a uh, his name's Raj. He uh, has an amazing Pinterest board that has his team on it. Your referral network. I mean, you can literally go crazy with this because each board can be its own special thing. Um, you can have some serious fun with it. So I don't. I'm not real big into recreating the wheel. I'm big on going to see what other people are doing and going. Yeah. I, okay. I like that. Yeah, okay, I Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, yeah. I like that, I like that. And get some ideas. I mean, um, so holiday, Thanksgiving's coming up. Thanksgiving ideas, Thanksgiving decorations, Christmas ideas, Christmas decorations, um, just all kinds of really cool stuff that you can have fun with. And then share to your sphere of influence on your social media networks to get people to interact and engage. And that's really what it's about is to interact and engage and build deeper relationships, okay? That's what all this stuff is about. Here's another one. So real estate, get this. So we searched real estate. So I'm going to go live, Vicki. We'll just go live and kind of show this. Sure. You bet. So Pinterest. Let's go to Pinterest. And right up here in this little search box, okay, if you put in real estate, I think that's what we searched, right? Real right. estate, real now estate. Now you can search. A couple of different things you can, here. Yeah. You can, re, you can search pins. Um, you can search boards. You can pin, pinners. Those are people who post the pins, you know, their name. Like I could search Scott Hutzbeth or um, you know Vicky Rice or something. But yeah, just put in real estate and see real what estate. comes up. Yo. All right, so we put in real estate. So what comes up? Now these are all different people. You can see that here's Andrea. Here's Andrea. So Andrea is pretty heavy in this. So she she knew we were coming, and so she really dialed yeah. in all her all her Pinterest boards. Yeah. Um, so now so, if you go real estate, do you see back up there at the top where you have it? Yeah. There's pens on the right hand underneath real estate. You get pens for okay. pinners. Okay. Yeah, so if you do the board, check real estate okay. board. All right. Now you'll see all kinds all of, kinds of boards. people that are, you know, in real estate. And they have this, this is a, you know, they're, it's called real estate. But we're going to get into that a little bit later about how to make your names more keyword searchable, you know. Um, Excellent. When you actually, cause, yeah, because you want to make sure that you optimize, um, you know, your comments. Um, just like you would optimize in, in, you know, in WordPress or something, so that you're searchable faster on a, a wall kind of scenario. So I mean, think I mean, think about this. So think about this. You don't have to like. You don't have to think about anything. You put in real estate, and you go boards, and you look at. I mean, I, I'm I, my eyes go to this tech stuff right here. So I'm like practical iPad apps for realtors. You know, so I'm going to click on this and go. Hmm, I wonder what she has. Look at all this really cool stuff. Now, this is just me being a freak. Like when I walk in Best Buy, it's like, whoa. So, like, here's a well, quick. Yeah. Oh, really that cool could stuff. be a board that you could do. Right. You know, for all right. of your high techy clients. And so, Correct. all you do is pin it. Go ahead and yeah. pin it if you want to pin it, Scott. So, you pin all it. All right. And then now, I'm going to choose, choose which, board. which board that you want to put it on. So, now maybe you might want to put something, name it, you know, and think of your keyword, you know, that's, that most people would, would do is like the newest app. Or yeah, you know, high tech. Yep. And then um, you would pin it on that board. There you go. Now this description here, this one below, I try to keep those between a hundred and two hundred characters. Okay. Um, you know, just to kind of let you know. And then you know, um, one of the comments that you can use is if you use words like love or favorite or like. That indicates that you have an emotional attachment to that. You know, that might be something that you would use for decorating. You know, I love this farmhouse sink or something like that. Um, but if you use words like home or DIY, inspiration, or maybe recipes, that you know really signifies that that I'm posting is something I want you to do. I want you to 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 create. You know, so think about you know your words when you're posting to get. I know to have a better um, yeah. you know, search rate. Right. 
Now think about this. That's why there's 60 something percent are repins of what's posted because there's so much, there's not a lack of content. It's just what fits your fancy, what like really excites you, what's part of who you are. Bring that to your board so other people can see it, follow you, repin, like, love, whatever you want to say um, takes place with Pinterest, okay? All right. And I so like, the yeah, I like the boards to kind of reflect who you are because, you, you know, they want to know what, you know, people, your clients, it's, it's like a visual overload party. When they look at all your boards, they can get a sense of, you know, who this person is, you know. And so it's kind of, you know, that's an image board for you. If you have a board that talks about, um, you know, your staff and who we are, you know, what we do, like a success board, you know, that shows pictures of all of the houses, you know, the front doors that you, you know, sold or happy clients that you take a picture of at your closing table. Your success stories. Those are, Absolutely. you know, those are pretty cool things. Good stuff, good stuff. So you guys see the real estate ideas. I mean, like this thing is really, really cool. Essential checklist for champion. I mean, so you can get ideas of how to up your brand when you actually meet with people. I mean, if you have a checklist of what, like how to help people and what to give them and so they don't forget stuff, they're going to remember you. You know, that, that stuff's going to stick around. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed what I was just looking at there, but this thing is just, this thing is awesome. So this, I mean, you might already have something like this, but I mean, it's a utilities and service providers, just a really cool way to do it and put it on there. They can print this out if they want to. Um, all, all kinds of really cool stuff there. So just want to share that with you. All right. So print, Pinterest vocabulary, and then we'll go back into Pinterest a little bit. So pins are photos, graphic, or video links and shared, okay, taken from internet or upload by users. We're going to show you how to do upload, we're going to show you how to do link to a specific picture, we'll show you all that. So a pin board is taking your above pin and organizing it into themes. Kind of like, I guess I could use notebooks, like in Evernote you have, you have um, pages and you have notebooks with pages in between. That's kind of what this is. So it's taking your above pin and organizing it into themes. Pinterest gets you started and you can change or add. Pin and bookmark code added to browser, which allows pinning for from any website, which is cool. So we're going to show you how to put a pin it little tab right above in your browser. When you see something you like, you just click the pin it tab. It's going to say wh which board you want to put it on. If not, create a board, and you just add that to your to your inst instead of having to right. remember what and that website was. It's kind of cool. Yeah, Scott. Let me. Um, Facebook will not allow you to pin it right from Facebook. Oh, yeah. Some kind I of forgot about that. So, you know, if you find something that you like, that it. someone did a quote, jing it. Save it to your desktop and then put it in your Pinterest page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what she's saying is Facebook, for some reason, doesn't communicate well with Pinterest, so that it won't let you pin anything inside Facebook. Unless somebody's figured out a trick, we can't figure out how to do it. So what we got to do is physically take a picture of whatever we want to do and then upload that picture and pin that picture inside so you can do it that way. All right? SEO, search engine optimization. Pinterest is at the top of Google searches. Images with links can be repinned hundreds or thousands of times, creating a lot of backlinks. Okay, so every time you repin something or somebody else repins something of yours, it's creating a new backlink in someone else's name. SEO loves that stuff because that means it has a lot of interest. So when you go to Google something, Google is going to give you the best results for your search. It's kind of like look whatever you look up. It's going to go. We got to get our goal is to give you the best answer, so you keep coming back to search for stuff with us. So if you got a if you got a hundreds of of pins on one specific topic or one whatever pin it is that you have, Google's going to see that as very very uh, popular, and it's going to put it up towards the front. And that's the whole part of you know playing around up in, in Facebook. If there's a lot of pins, maybe pin it one more time, and you might just show up in that pin in that search. Okay. Followers, people who are following your pins and pin boards. Really easy to follow. Just click a button and you're, you're following somebody. I would highly recommend following all your, your clients. If you have clients on Pinterest, follow them. Like Absolutely. their stuff. Repin mm -hmm. their stuff. Build a relationship with what they like. I mean, it's kind of like, like the reverse engineering again. You can go to Facebook. I know we've talked about Facebook the last four weeks, but you can go to Pinterest find somebody's Pinterest board, see what their likes are, their, like their, the quotes. I mean, you can literally get to know somebody before you even meet with them if you can find them on Pinterest, and more than likely you can. It's really easy to search, okay? So following. Following other people who have similar interests, who are friends. Remember we talked about this? What do you like doing? What do you love? Let people know about that. If you like 
doing scrapbooks, if you like golfing, if you like shopping, if you like eating out, if you like traveling, if, you, if you're a huge travel, traveler, take pictures and like, let people know where you're going and what you visit and the best, the best excursions to do when you go to that place. That's that, people love that stuff. Okay? They can relate to that. Share. When you are finished pinning, you can share what you just pinned on Facebook and Twitter. Ba -bing! Right? So we just let everybody know where it's going. The same as Facebook like button. Show that you like something. It does not post as a pin. Okay, so it's just like, hey, I like this. That's cool. I like this. You know, you guys ever go to a, uh, you guys ever go to a restaurant and you get a menu with no pictures? It's like, are you kidding me? So you sit there and wait for stuff to come by and go, ooh, what was that? Ooh, what was that? Well, that's the whole beautiful thing about Pinterest is it's all pictures. It should be. Comment like Facebook. You can comment on a pin. You can say, hey, I, you know, hey, I tried this great recipe. Uh, highly recommend it. Do it. Uh, you know, maybe I added this seasoning or whatever. Just kind of build a relationship. That's what it's all about. So if you're not already on Pinterest, I would highly, highly, highly recommend try to get your name. Okay, go reserve your brand name. Now I would, I would, I'm a huge believer in having it your name, not something like make sure that you are a part of this. So when people search your name, remember we talked about one, two, three people.com. When people search your name, I want them to see your Pinterest, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, um, everything that you have in social media so that they see you and can get to know you and do the same with you. If it's a client looking to get to going to work with you, they want to get to know you. They want to go in and check and see who you are, where you, you know, what you like to do and kind of get to know you a little bit. So I would highly recommend if you don't have a Pinterest board, go to Pinterest. We're going to show you right now how to do it. So when you go to Pinterest.com, Vicky always signs in with Facebook. Right? Right. And then, or you can log in if you already have a login, or you can sign up with an email. Either way, it's all good. Um, it's no big deal. Super simple, yeah. Super simple. So when you, uh, when you use Facebook to create an account, it does make you add the Pinterest app to your Facebook. This can be turned off once the account is created. So just so you know, it does but, make you turn yeah. on. But I don't want, you know, I, you shouldn't turn it off. You know, that's the whole, um, that's the whole reason to, you know, because your friends are going are gonna to see that you posted something on Pinterest, and then they're going to say, oh, they have, he has a Pinterest page. Oh, well, I'm going to go there and friend him on Pinterest, you know, follow him on Pinterest. So you want to create, um, you know, how over, all your social media sites should overlap each other so that they all pull into each other and build, you build it that way. That's just right. my advice, so. Cool. Now, one little advice if you want to kind of keep it private from Facebook, and again, I would agree with Vicki, let, let it go if you pin something and let it go on Facebook. Or if you want to do it yourself by using the Pinterest link, you can do that. But if you choose, instead of have friends right down here, just hit this little drop down and click me only. I think it's me only or private, and then it won't, mm -hmm. it doesn't post. Right. All right. And it doesn't post on your page. It just posts on the side, you know, on the right, on the left-hand side where you have your, your interest and your likes and things of like that, that's where you'll see your Pinterest post. Okay. So cool. it doesn't post to your wall. All right. All right. So creating your login and password. So if you decide to go the email way, of course, you want to have a username. So again, your username, I would recommend trying to get your name or something close to it like Mine is Scott Hutzbeth, but if Scott Hutzbeth wasn't available, I do Scott Hutzbeth, Michigan, because I'm in Michigan. Keep it so that when people search you, they search your name. And if, and if I go to, like, for example, if I wanted to search you inside Pinterest, I can go up here and search your name just if I'm looking for you. You always want them to be able to find you, okay? So, whoops, I can spell mine. Whoops, yay. And, of course, I'm logged in, so it's not going to work for me, but... That's, um, that's what I want to look for is Scott. So you, obviously you can find me here, and that's what you want people to do. So if it's something, if it's something else that has nothing to do with you, they, would, they, they might never find you because that's never going to come up, okay? All right. Bingo there. So, and then, of course, your email address really doesn't matter what email address. That's just the email you're going to use to log in and then your password, okay? So username, email, and password. All right. Yeah. What, what what they require you to do is they require you to click a few things that they think of that you might like, or it's going to go. Okay. Hey, choose architecture, art, cars and motorcycles, designs. You got to choose. I don't know if there's a minimum that you have to when you create a login and password. Yeah, I think it's four, four, four or five. Okay, four topics. Okay. 
And of course, yeah. you can always change it when you go in. But what it's going to do is it's going to add a couple, like you're going to follow a couple of these things, the like care and beauty, history, holidays, home. And I think there's more to choose from than just this. But it's mm -hmm. going to it's going to ask you to choose some to kind of get you get you started with the feel of how Pinterest works. See what people are pinning, how they're pinning it, and how 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 the Pinterest works. Okay. Right. Uh, create boards. That, so, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, and that is because they, you know, it's you know how Facebook has a wall, Pinterest has a wall, and so that's the reason why they you're if you don't have a wall to have anything to look at when you click on just the Pinterest logo, <laughs> right. it's kind of boring. So at least you're going to have something to look at. Correct. So, and this is where it gets fun. So what I would do is I would probably, once you set this up, I would create a board and just create a couple of generic boards. And you can always go back and delete or edit them. And what you want to do is get a feel for what other people are doing and go, okay, I want to have maybe a quotes board. And I want to have a home sold board. And I want to have paint colors board or maybe house fixtures or... Uh, flooring board or um, travel board or I mean just I'll show you one that I that I just love and his name's Raj he he has uh, he definitely has done a good job today R A J right Raj right, there it is right there I follow him I would recommend following him but here's what he has done he's a top agent out of California closing an unbelievable amount of uh, amount of uh, <laughs> volume out there so he's got Orange County spaces. I love how he set this up. So Orange County Lifestyle, meet our team. This is pretty cool. Check this out. So inside here he has his team of pictures of them, who they are, what they do. And then, of course, he has, has a couple of videos of him talk, talking about it. But he's got a huge team. And these are all his agents that, and people on his team that he works with. So pr pretty cool stuff. Um, so you can do that, meet our team, Orange County Outdoors, Orange County Pools. So this could be Kalamazoo Pools, not as exciting as Orange County. but you guys get the you guys get the picture. Um, HD video tours if you're doing videos. Uh, Cornell Dell it did the beachfronts video tours Orange County. So you got all this and he's got people Orange County hamburgers. Orange I mean things to do. Best bird I mean so all There's kinds the, of the OC Tech inside. So that would be a techie board for example like oh, right here. that you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, so he's again, just finds some really cool stuff. I mean, it's just like almost right. too professional on the too professional side. So, but he, I mean, he's put. I mean, this this has been going on for, I would guess, a couple years. So it doesn't take long. If you do yeah, one in a day, mm -hmm. it, it, it wouldn't take long to have a really good looking board like this. And we'll show you how to do this. So right. you'll notice Good Eats. So if he clicks on this, he has ten pins. It doesn't. He doesn't have a hundred, but typically this goes to somewhere, and he has. He doesn't have it to a link, but he just said. Maybe you find you, you have something really good at a restaurant. Take a picture of it. That's a good pin. Say, hey, I love the. I don't know if I, I ate at a place called Blackstone over in Detroit, and they bring the steak out on this hot plate, just like this, and you actually cook it on the mm -hmm. plate. And I took a picture of it. That would be a cool pin to give. The, I mean, it was really good. So that would be a good suggestion to pin next to stuff like that. Um, of course, any house, really cool house things you could pin. That would be a great way. I mean, some people love this way more than Facebook, way more than Twitter. Because it's actually visual. It's so visual. Look at all this. I mean, it's so visual. It's really. Oh yeah, it's really so fun much to fun to, yeah. to, to do. And so, you can have, you know, I have done boards for um, for real estate agents that, um, you know, could be anything from um, moving day tips, um, and then a whole board about what needs to happen on the day of your move. Um, right. We've done boards on curb appeal, um, renovation ideas. Um, low cost renovation ideas. I did a board on that that got a lot of activity. Um, and even school districts, you know, if you specialize in a certain area that has a, you know, a school district, like it, it would be Oak Creek Schools, um, work, naming your keyword works better than, say, our school district. So then when someone goes in to search, you know, the school, your, your board is going to come up um, in regards to that. And then you know, you can put things on that's great about the school district and, you know, facts and figures and, and things like that that, you know, um, would create an interest. Absolutely. Cool. All right. So you guys having fun? I mean, is this, is this some cool stuff? You guys getting some good ideas from this and kind of enjoying what we're talking about here? we got a large, large, large group. So Paul's doing great with questions. Um, so, Paul, is there any questions that um, – that we maybe could answer at this time before we go any further.
Or... There are several that I, that I was not. It, I, I don't have the same kind of knowledge that you and and Vicky have with Pinterest. So there were a couple that came up, and a couple of suggestions that came up um, as yeah. well. Let me just kind of scroll back up here. And we're always learning. So I mean, Absolutely. yeah. I mean, every day. guys. I mean, he, here's happens. the whole oh thing. Here's the, yeah, here's the bottom line with Pinterest. Somebody says, "Why Pinterest over other media ideas?" And Ron, I appreciate that question because I I get it. There's so much. I mean, there's Pinterest, there's LinkedIn, there's Twitter. There's you can literally spend all day, every day on all this stuff and not get anything done. But here's the thing: if you are using it to build relationships and you have it in your calendar, it's a time block to go. All right, I'm going to go on Pinterest. I'm going to connect and engage. I'm going to go. Okay, I took I took in ten leads last week. I'm going to go in and friend them on Facebook connect with them on LinkedIn and, and follow them on Pinterest and then start interacting and engaging with past clients, current clients, I'm telling you, your business will explode because you're building deeper relationships. You're connecting. Get, well, please don't forget to always pick up the phone, but this is just one more avenue where 80% of all the women that are that are in the United States 20, are, are, are on Pinterest. You, it's a huge, huge deal. So that's the, that's the big part of it. It's like whatever you love. If you love Pinterest more, go go find some people to interact and engage with that are past clients. I wouldn't go yeah. I wouldn't go on there and play on there per se, but I would go in there no. to build relationships and find out what interests other people, collaborate, interact, stuff like that. And that's where you're going to get your biggest social. Thing. Now, social Chuck's got a yeah, great so that's question why, here. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Vicky. I'll ask that question that's after why you're I done. Say, you know, that, that's that's the question that I get asked. You know, every single day. And it's like, that's why I say to them, it's not so much a place for you to go and spend a lot of your time. Once we, cre once we create the boards, and they could be five boards or ten boards, once we create it, we want to create it so that you're a resource, so that your, your past clients come to you before, um, to get the, your low-cost low renovation, uh, what do the buyer's most wanted list is, you know what is what can I you know what is my curb appeal you know and your success stories so if you just had those boards alone you want to be that resource you want them to keep coming back and think oh you know I need to check with um you know Paul's page because he had you know local lo low cost renovation ideas we're going to redo our kitchen and I want to see what he thinks that the most the buyers want most you know that kind of stuff yep cool and Karen, we'll get to that. Karen, you want to answer this? Or Vicky, you want to answer Karen's question? It says, can you talk about content for the paragraph at the top? So, like, well, I think she's talking about when you oh, pin yeah. something, like, make it, I don't know, I'm about making it, I'm personally about making it short and sweet yeah, and to sure. the point so they actually click on the photo and either like it or follow it or comment on it. That's, that's, that's right. my opinion. It's yeah, like and the very first, the very first sentence is your keywords. So, you know, you want to make sure if it's um, Oak Ridge School. I love Oak Ridge Schools or something like that, you know. So uh, all about Oak Ridge Schools. And um, no more than 200 words. I know people can get wor really wordy, but, you know, keep it as simple as possible. But now on your profile, when you put in your description about who you are and what you do, um, that's where you can get a little bit more um, personal about, you know, um, you know, it's your about you section. So um, that kind of stuff. And then you get to have like a little slogan up there that says, um, you know, underneath your name, if you look at, you know, you, you're only allowed to have so many words, but you could be like, um, you know, social, renov you know, whatever it is that you do, you know, a little slogan that you could do, whatever your slogan is. Home means more than just a word, to right. me, you know, or something like that. I would I would stick with like I would go again d try not to recreate the wheel go like go see what Raj is posting what he's doing cl um, Google real estate and then do boards and see what other real estate agents are doing um, and then look at like like these are really quick and to the point like what they are and if you get a like that means they're I mean you might get a follow going man I mean a really big thing is like how many followers can I get my my past clients to follow me so that when I pin something they see me and remember what I do for a living that's really all we're going for is to one right. create who you are in a social media platform get your friends family coworkers, get your past clients current clients to follow you and then just put up really cool stuff that's it I mean bottom line and then interact and engage with other people other pinners follow them back if they're their past client like something repin something of theirs 
dollars. It just it's kind of like feeling. It's kind of like feeling like if you if I hand out something to you that you think is really cool and I give you hey here's a, an extra copy to give to someone else and you go give it to someone else and somebody calls you and says hey I got this copy from so and so that's like it feels good right? It's like a little pat on the back like hey thanks that, you know I appreciate the compliment that that type of thing. Yeah, and I did a you know you can use it for your real estate too. It's just like. Um, you know, showcase your top properties. Showcase your listings on there. Um, you know, and include you know the picture of that. I've done a board where I've done a sneak peek um, board for an agent that that has like it's a coming soon listing, and she only showcases that on her Pinterest um, link that she then shares to her friends on Facebook and all that. That you know, show not put it on the board yet, but it's a sneak peek that's coming like two weeks before or something. You can, Got it. You can, you know, that's just, you can, it's endless what you can do with it. Cool. All right, we'll finish this up. We'll go, we got a lot to cover, so let's go through this and then we'll cover all the questions we'll save it for the end. So, um, yeah, we got 20 minutes. Okay, so let's go talk about this. Top two, uh, here, here's some stuff that Vicki found, like, like she was talking about, top, uh, top 2014 paint colors, which is, I think is... Yeah, I did this one for, yeah, for one of yeah, our awesome. clothes. So yeah, that's an idea of how. Yeah, being that it's Halloween, I gotta throw this out there. So this this reminded me of it. So like this guy had fifty <laughs> shades of gray, and he had fifty shades of paint color grays on his body. That was his costume. So I just I thought that was kind of funny. So that's cute. But oh yeah, if you're looking for a costume, that'd be a good one. All right, fifty shades of gray. Yeah, right. yeah, I've seen that. I saw that out there. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Storage, storage, ideas. storage, yeah. oh Everyone my. loves to have storage. Uh, I love know. storage ideas. I mean, this is some cool stuff. So check this lady out. Here's some cool stuff. So, you, I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff. Look at this. Well, I don't, I don't know what this is. From this to this. Yeah, you can cut a bottle. So oh, that, you know, okay. You so tips. Yeah, and so that, you know, for kids. You know, <laughs> I love it. They won't oh, get they can't reach that the way. <laughs> can't reach the yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, most wanted list for buyers. Is okay, so you know the hottest trends right now. You know, think about remember that David Brumstad. You know, his he's really cool about hot trends. You yeah. know, so um, you know the farmhouse sinks. Everyone seems to want a farmhouse sink. You know, mm -hmm. and they want decking that's maintenance free. You know that kind of stuff. These are just yeah. trends that are happening. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, curb appeal. There's decorating and like different ways to landscape. Stacy is huge. Fast. I would recommend you guys follow Stacy. I love her. Oh, this her is Stacy Stab. Yeah, right here. Right here. Yeah, she's got a success board that is, you know, off the chart, you know. So, um, and people want to know, you know, that's a great place to to look and see visually. That you know, you know, you walk the walk through the talk, you know, because you your that success board shows, you know, your all your soul, you know, yeah, all your listeners. Also, she's also letting out what she loves. I love houses. I love doors. I love windows. I'm a sucker for curb appeal. I mean, just. See how catchy those kind of, and I know it's hard to, to do that, but this I is love this one. This one's board. huge. This one's huge. Mm -hmm. And it goes on and on and on and on, and so that gives her validation, right? You know, yeah, absolutely, that. absolutely. So when it's in the MLS, you open up the MLS to this to this. Yeah, I'm guessing you could pin right from there if you wanted to. Well, I would. You, I don't think you can, but you can jing it. You know how you, you taught right. everyone okay. how to get jing. You jing okay. it, save it, pin it. it. You know, I'm sure that you know when you do the listing. You know, um, your you can get that those photos from your appraisal. Whatever. Okay, cool. All right. So there's another, uh, editing your profile information. So the profile is important in laying the foundation of your online presence. A nicely done profile along can gain trust from your audience. Like it's remember we talked about first impressions. You got mm -hmm. what was it? Seven seconds or seventeen seconds? It's not long, right? Be thorough. Right. Upload your business logo again. Get ideas from other people. Get a, get a feel for who you are, and then go out there and go. Okay, what are these guys putting for, for profiles? I don't know, man. Just swipe. Use a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Make it your own. Do not leave out any fields. Put in the nice short description of your company. Add links to your blog or website in in the about section. Use use your keywords for SEO, search engine optimization purposes. It would be a good idea to use the name of your website or your company as the profile name. Now, I'm I'm big about branding your name because when people search okay. and Google, you want your name. If they're not gonna, if they go to Prudential or Remax or Keller Williams or any whatever, I'm I mean, I'm not partial. I'm not saying any name for one reason, but they're not. They might not find your name. If they go to Scott Hutchback, they're gonna find Scott Hutchback, and that's what you want. So just think.
about that when you're building your brand on social media. People are going to search your name. They don't, they're going to remember you, not the company you work for. So just keep, just, just keep that in mind. Pin it button. I love, love, love this. This is so cool. So let me just check this out. So this is a pin it button. So you want to add your pin it button to, let me just get out of this PowerPoint here. This little pin it button right here. Let me just go to my YouTube channel. And I'll show you how easy it is to pin a video. So you got your YouTube channel. You uploaded a video. Of course, i got to switch accounts. And so here's my YouTube. I want to open this one up. And so I'm going to, uh, here's a video that I want to pin to my Pinterest board. I'm going to hit the pin button. And it's going to look at all the videos that are in my Pinterest board. And I'm going to pick the one that I want to pin. And just click in, and then choose pin it. This is the first one that I was on. So just please pin it. And then I want to add it to my videos, of course. So you have a video section, or you create a board if you want to. And it's in your, it's that easy. So say you find an article on um, uh, 10 things I hate about buying a home. Kind of a weird phrase, right? Top 10 ways to make home buyers hate your house. <laughs> Crazy article would get some attention. So I like this article in the about.com section, and I want to pin this article to my Pinterest board. I just go pin it. Uh, sorry, I couldn't find the pinnable thing. So, so what you'd have to do is grab this link and pin it. So this is not a good example. I'm going to go back and find another one from Keplinger. And here's seven things home buyers hate, and I'm going to pin it. It's going to find, here's Keplinger right here. You can always change the picture later, but I'm going to pin that article. And what it's going to do is automatically put that pin linked to that link of that article automatically if I'm on a website that has an article. Okay, it's pretty cool. So I would pin that and then it would be right in my Pinterest board. And I'm going to show you some cool ways to do that. All right. So that's the pin it thing. So to find the pin it thing, if you're in your Pinterest board, let me just go back here. And you want to click on this. I believe they keep moving this. Friend, follow boards, visit, log out. You know where that you can always go to the help and ask, and it's just like Facebook. I think it's under help. Under help anyway. Yeah, help and then you yeah. just actually let me go back here. I think I know. So if I just go on your profile and pins, uh -huh. I'm wrong again. Settings. It's under settings. I almost know it is under settings. So uh, we can do settings next time. Where is it at? They change this all the time. Find friends, follow boards, visit help. Analytics. Let me see if it's here. No. Find friends. No. All right. Pinterest pin tab. Pin it button. All right. So add the pin it button. So it's if you Google it, it comes up. So it's going to. Um, and you just ask that same question, how do I add the, you know, a pin it button? Yeah, that's right. I, I, I swear to God, me. this is so weird because it was, it was like literally right here. Um, yeah. That's so weird. Keep on, accept. There we go. Follow boards, visit help center. So it's got to go into the help center maybe. I don't know. I guess I should have looked that up because they move it every single time. It used to be like right there. So mobile account. All right, we'll look that up and we'll, we'll post on the Agent Mastermind page how to do that, how to get your pin it button up there, and we'll go from there. Right, Sorry right. about that, guys. So, so it says display the bookmark. So it, I, I don't even think this is wrong because they keep, of course, updating this. That's why we keep doing these classes is to keep things current. So no big deal. So when you get to this point, it's under, it's under goodies. So we're, I didn't even see a goodies section, but it's under the goodies section. And um, just slide, literally, when you find it, you just slide it up, and it stays there. All right? All right, so let's start pinning. So you just go find what you like, or go in Pinterest and find what you like, and you repin, share. Say you want to upload a photo. I think this is a big deal. So say you want to upload a photo that you found or took on your phone. For example, the, um, let me just show you this phone app that I actually just uh, sent a picture of. Yeah. Let me show you. So, and did you um, this kind of experiment with it. You know, tall images get more engagement than wide ones. Right. Um, just wanted to throw that out there to you. So, um, yeah. so, so it this can is be the taller for wide. 
That so would this be a call a, one, for example. Yeah, this is a phone app. So you got the home right here. You got search. You got a plus. This is actually a plus when you're there, and this pops up, and you get you got a website you want to pin, or you got to want to take a picture, or you want to go to your photos and pin one of your photos in your phone. It's it's that easy to do it on phones, and of course you have your your follows here and stuff like that, and you have your people. But I just want to show you a picture of the actual phone app. It's really really super simple to use, so I'd recommend going to try that. So let's go to Pinterest and pin like a, a picture that. Uh, see this little plus button? They made this really easy. And this is what it looks like on your phone. So you want to click on the plus, and it says upload a pin, add from a website, or create a board. So you got three choices. Right. So I want to upload a pin, and I want to choose from a file from my computer. All right. So I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to upload a quote, which I like this one right here. Mistakes are proof that we are trying. And whoops, did I lose it? I went too fast. Upload. All and right. just double click on the um, quote. And All right. it will so ask you. The quote, uh -huh. And then there's it goes into so it might not actually put it in the right board, so you have to be careful. And if it's right. not in the right if it's not in the right board, you want to make sure and look at that. Okay? And if it's not in the right board right here, or if it's or you don't have a board for really what you're posting into a board, just and you make want to create one. Create yes, one first. Then you do that. Yep. Go ahead and, and then that. No, you don't have to do it first. Just go back to the arrow up there, um, where it says comments and quotes. You know the arrow. So. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and do that. Add your quote. Okay. okay. Upload a pen. Okay. Choose the image. Double click on the image. Okay. Okay. See where see where the comments and quotes is at the top. On yep. you, there you go. And then you could, um, you should be able to add. If you scroll down, it should say, "Yeah, create new board." Create board. Yep, there you go. Board. And then you give the board a name. Great. Yeah. And I already have Kalamazoo quotes, so I'm going to leave it. But right. if you didn't have one for quotes, you could just click Kalamazoo quotes. Make sure it's, and then it says, um, and then, and if I wanted to link this to a website, I can do it later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this under Kalamazoo quotes. Love this one. And then I'm going to pin it. And then here's the uploaded to Kalamazoo quotes. See it now. I could, and then of mm -hmm. course I see it now. There it is. And then um, if I go back to my boards, this is kind of cool. See this little uh, edit button right here? Let me just let me take take that back. Let me go back here real quick. So right here you got like. Of course you're gonna like your own stuff. Here's the image. If you wanna um, if if it's actually an image you wanna upload, send. If you wanna send it to somebody or share it. So if I wanna send it, Facebook, Google Plus, Yahoo. If I wanna share it, Twitter, Facebook, embed it somewhere. I could do that. So, if, uh, if, like, if I wanted to embed a video, if this was a video that I was doing and I wanted to embed it on my blog, I could do it right from Pinterest, and then they would be on my Pinterest watching it. All right? Yeah, it's so easy to do. Yeah. And here's the comment section if people look at it and want to comment. And then here's this little edit pencil. They kind of hide it. It's kind of hard to see. So if I wanted to have this so it's a clickable link, like if, I, if somebody clicks on this photo, I highly recommend doing this. Even if you only send it to your website, send them to your website, I highly recommend doing this. So it's right now if I click on it, it goes just to a picture. I want it to actually go somewhere. So if I click on this little pencil, and it, here's my quote, but here's my source. The source is the actual website. So I want it to go to my website. Oops. And then I click Save Changes, and I must have to have an HTTP. All right. And then now it's going to save it. So now if I click on it, it says it's going to go to that website. So if I click on it, it's going to take me to the actual website that I put in there. All right? Pretty cool stuff. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Any questions on that, Paul? So far down, down the list of sellers. questions yet, so I don't know, Scotty. I am still okay, working cool, on cool, questions cool. from okay. back a few minutes ago. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so we'll... Um, if that was a house and you're showcasing one of your listings, you know, you could have it go back to your, you know, your Facebook fan page that you created. You Correct. Know, um, or the school district or something like that. Correct. Yes. So um, that is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of like kind of stop there and start answering questions because I think that we've covered enough to where you guys can get your boards going. You can start putting up some cool content start following other people, interacting, engaging with other people, repinning some stuff on your own board. 
Um, so kind of get a feel for it as far as that goes. And then next week, what I would love, love, love to do is um, if you're joining us for the first time, and I'm sure that there's a lot of people here doing that, if you want to um, please join us on our Facebook page, and we would love to see your boards. What we're going to do is we're going to go over some boards next week um, and just kind of talk about like maybe ways, not nothing bad, just, hey, maybe add this or do this or do that. So we'll go over if you could share your Pinterest board. We'd love to see them. So groups forward slash agents mastermind. And join us there, and that's there's we're we're coming up on two two thousand people, which is pretty cool. So a lot of questions, a lot of interaction, a lot of engagement. And here's the cool part about this group: if you have a question, more than likely, hundred other people have the same exact question, and so we can answer them on on there for you. And we monitor that thing twenty four seven. If you get a re if you if you post a question, a lot of times at ten thirty eleven o'clock at night. I'm going to answer it unless somebody else beats me to it. So I'm kind of a freak about that because I truly want you guys to success. Um, all right, so can you can, please repeat your pin board name? My pin board name. So if you guys want to get some ideas. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, have, you can have them go to your board. I, I do post um, all the marketing on the Pinterest board. Um, so Facebook timelines, WordPress blogs, postcards video marketing. So again, as a resource, they can come there and get ideas. So Pinterest.com, Scott Hutzpah, is that what you're talking about, Scott? And what we're using it for. We use it a little different because we're not, I'm not personally in real estate. I actually help real estate agents and loan officers. So we do a lot of stuff as far as Facebook timelines, postcard marketing. We do WordPress blogs, um, stuff like that. So and, and we have people that help us with that. So you guys see, you know, every once in a while I'll take a picture. Here's a picture that I took of, of a railroad track that I was on. I thought it was, I don't know, it's something about pull, like barns and railroad tracks. It's kind of a kind of a cool thing for me. So obviously I could I could link this to, it's linked to my Facebook. So if I click on it, it was from my, oops, it's not even working now. So, but I could link it to wherever I wanted to go. It used to be linked to a Facebook page. Um, which I would highly recommend sending them to your Facebook page. If they click on it, they may like you, and then you got another person that's friend of yours or uh, follows you or friend request you, whatever it is. So that's uh, that's a good thing, right? That's a great thing. That's what we're all trying to do is build more friends that know, like, and trust us to get referrals from from people like that. So that's people want to work with people they know, like, and trust. Here's 22 landscaping lighting ideas, which I just I thought was really cool. I don't know. I think I borrowed this from somebody. Hey, DIY network. Yeah, go Scotty, ahead. was there a question, or were you guys having trouble finding the the how to add the pin it button a little bit ago? That was something you yes, guys. Yes, we were. Okay, yes. uh, Chuck Dress actually posted the URL address on um, in the question box. I don't know how to get that visible for everyone. It's a funky looking link too. So it is in there though. If you could post that somewhere or figure out a way to to get that to everybody so they can. Quickly and uh, get hey, to it. hey Chuck, uh, do me a favor. Send it to me on private private message, Facebook, please, and I'll I'll put it up here on the class if you would. That'd be great. I'm looking for it right now. A lot of I questions. Can, um, I can send it to you on a private message real quick. Can you okay, cool, man. Send yeah. me the link on a private message, man. I'll grab it right now. All right. So I don't know why on they make way, it so long. Man. Okay. Yeah, they, that, it used to be right in the settings button, right didn't it? It used to be right here under. It did. It used to be. There used to be a gooding a goodies. Yeah. Setting. Oh wait, wait. Uh, yeah, there you go, like, my friend. Go. Okay, thank you. I'll bet you, you know, there still is a goodies button. It's just a matter of finding it now. Um, and I honestly haven't logged so into weird. Pinterest in a so weird. I don't know why they'd make that so hard, but let's uh okay, I got it here, Paul. Thank you. Let me grab that. Holy are you serious? Yeah, it's a funky looking link, isn't it? But it does all it's right, got so all the it's got all the three browsers yeah, right there. Um what is the pin it button? I don't see the pin it button though. Chrome. Okay, Chrome. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Okay. Let me do this. Let me do. Uh, let me go to bud URL really quick. Sorry, guys. But one moment though, and I'll get you guys to click here. One second. That's a long link. So my bud URLs. Should have checked that before we started. Uh, pin it. Pin it button, shrink it. 
All right, here we go. So if you go, thank you so much, Chuck. If you go to, i got to get to where I can share my screen. Here we go. There we go. So uh, pin it budyearl.com forward slash pin it button will take you to, so it's budyearl.com forward slash pin it button, will take you to this screen right here. And if you have a Chrome web store, add to Chrome. So it's going to open up. Here's the, oh my god, they made it, they made it like an, uh, like a, in part of the Google store. How crazy. So it's going to look a little different than mine. See that? See, and then just free, just add it, click here, and you're done. Crazy stuff. Wow. All right. If you have Firefox, there's Firefox, there's Safari, there's Internet Explorer. So whichever one you have. You know, here's the goodies page. Well, uh, literally all you've got to do with those links you just had there, Scotty, is drag those and drop them in your toolbar. So if you got Chrome, just drag the word Chrome and drop it in your toolbar. Yeah, but it just says Chrome, though. It doesn't say pin it is the only problem. Can you edit that? I don't, I don't know. I didn't look at that okay. part. Let me try that. All right. But I think if you click Chrome, what it does, oh, oh, it shows you how to do it. So weird, man. Weird. Sorry, guys. Thought it was easier than that. So maybe they're maybe in the process of changing it right now, maybe. I don't know. All right. So start pinning, guys. Start following people, interacting with people, and having some fun with this. Really remember, mark it in your calendar. Spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes on it. No more. Don't, don't go crazy and spend two, three hours. There's no money there. Your money is building relationships, connecting, engaging, interacting, getting to know it, putting time on your schedule, time blocking, and following people, taking your Pinterest pins, going to Facebook and posting it to Facebook. And, there's, and guys, here's the really cool part about this. Inside Pinterest, if you actually click on the settings, uh, let me go back here. Nope, nope, nope. And you click on this. You're basically using your, yeah, your hour of power. That's all. Hour of power, do. correct. Correct. Hour of power, once a day, um, have your assistants do something, you know, and your social media sites, all of them, and it should only be an hour. And then there you go. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. So uh, not connected. So if you want to connect your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, just boom, 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 and you got to put in your login and password, you're good. Um, and then make sure that you don't click that account, that, that number right there, and then save settings, and you'll be good to go as far as that goes. If you want to turn off email notifications for every pin that comes in, it, that might be a good thing to do. And then your hour of power, you, like Vicki said, you log in to spend time on your social media sites, interact, engage, friend, like, private message, follow, all this stuff, get out and go make some money. You know, that, that pick up the phone and start connecting and engaging with people, okay? All right, all right. That is the top of the hour. And um, Scotty, real quick, a whole bunch of people are asking. I know great class today, great content. Thank you so much, you and Vicky, for, for the amazing stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are, are looking to get the PowerPoint um, so that you can go back through some of the information. You can get access to today's PowerPoint. It was recorded. The PowerPoint and recording will be made available. Uh, just contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll be able to get you access. A lot of them will be able to help you through and help you implement some of the strategies you're learning about as well. So for those of you asking how do you get a copy of today's PowerPoint, simply contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll be able to get that right out to you. Excellent. I'm still baffled by the uh, pennant thing. <laughs> All right, so okay, here we go. Yeah, that's yeah. See, I, I they've put it in the App Store, the Google Store. They've made it really, really difficult. Instead of being in the goodies crazy. locker, it's now an application so for your so for your browsers. Yeah, download it from the Google Store. Go to the App Store if you're on an Apple. So. Yeah, and here's the big thing. If you got questions about this, something we covered, you got a question, don't spend time on it. Go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. Join our group, and there's nothing being sold there. We're just interacting, engaging, and helping you guys on a high level. And then um, we'll make sure to get your answers, you know, your questions answered. And then next week we'll do Pinterest part two, a little more advanced. We're going to go over some boards, so please, I'll, I'll be asking you to post your boards there so we can see it. And um, go from there. So, oh, Paul, we got to give away a camera, man. A camera? We got, yeah, we got to give away a camera. To me. So, so what we'll do is we're going to go. To, what kind of camera? What kind of camera? We're gonna, we're, we're gonna go to our group, Agent Mastermind. Are you gonna entice? Ask, the, are you gonna ethically bribe them to do a video? 
I'm going to brought no, I already did. I said share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post before 2 o'clock the winner to the video of everybody that now I'm going to give you an hour to post. So what I did was I said I'm ready to give away another camera. Look, look for this, like this post. And I said uh, whoever posts their Facebook page with new header or co our, our community page that they created after the class that we did a couple weeks ago, I'm going to draw their name out of the hat. So I don't have a whole lot of attendees here, which is a good thing for whoever did. But there's actually there's more than I thought. So here's a bunch of Facebook pages. And I'm going to pick one of these. So if you want to get in on this, go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. Pin your Facebook page here. And we're going to have a drawing today. All right. So 4 o'clock today, I'm going to post the winner. And I hope it's you. Did I get in that? No. <laughs> Vicki, get your page on there. Vicki, thank you so much. I appreciate all you do. And, uh, oh, thank you're you for welcome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, welcome hopefully we got you excited. Yeah, that's the whole thing. I know. I know it's fun. So oh. spend some time, enjoy it, and I appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the web. Get your Pinterest to board Look going. Don Dawn already is trying, getting, getting her entry in there. I love it, Dawn. You were an <laughs> implementer, my dear. I, I love her. She is such an implementer, man. Yeah. 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 So, all right. We'll see you guys on the uh, on the web right here next week, same time, same place. We're going to do Pinterest Part Two, and we'll put the agenda up there. Look for the invites from your LOs to get a copy of this PowerPoint and the recording. Get with your loan officer that sent you to this class, and we will see you right here next week after Halloween on the Agent Mastermind. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.